Hey guys, it's me guys C, and welcome to Sally Face. Now before we jump into this game, I do want to give a warning with flashing lights in the whole menu screen option. So if people have problem with that sort of stuff, I wanted to give it just a warning so you guys know. But Sally Face is a game I found on itch.io and it actually isn't free, it costs money. Right now it is 63% off, I spent a dollar ten on this game. US anyway, being that it's from Canada, it'll be a little bit more expensive, so like two bucks. So I think that's actually a pretty reasonable deal, but this sort of game is one of those like adventure style games where you have a person, a boy, who's got blue pigtails, a prosthetic face, yeah, and they have to deal with their past. That's essentially what the game is about. So let's jump into it. Yeah, even I can barely look at that stuff. Oh, jeez. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Whoa. Answer phone. This has kind of like a friend bow feel to it. Hello? Caller. It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? What are you about? Where am I? Don't worry about that. Just come and find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. This is so creepy. There's my bed. Stuff. Oh, that's my inventory. Push. Huh? Looks like something is there, but it's too dark to see. Oh, so he doesn't realize that he pushed the cabinet. Where is the light? Oh, look at the doggy! Dude, look at my face! Okay, oh, there's a key! A key! I did it! So, the inventory does show the key, okay. I'm not entirely sure how long this game actually is. But so far, I'm actually really enjoying the the atmosphere, just the way it's presented. Oh no, I think I'm in a mental place. Wait, where am I going? This way. What? Oh, so we have to choose the right doors, I guess. What if I have to spell something? D O. Well, that worked. D O. Oh, dog! There's a dog. On the picture. What? Oh, it looks like it's, it looks like it's a funeral. Ah! Oh. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Whoa. It's my mom. Climb down. Batteries not included. So I did say this is about his life and his past and there's a lot of really weird oddities as they described it in the description. So, we're gonna go through his life. It's probably, as you've seen, it's not gonna be pleasant. It's locked. Passcode. Minus 200, okay. So how do I get out of here? Battery's not included. Okay. So let's actually head back up. We're gonna go. Oh, can I not do it? Oh wait. Oh, it says four there. There's a four. I thought I actually had to go to my mom's tombstone. Maybe there was like a number on it. Four. Anybody see any other numbers? Four. Is it just four? <laughs> There's gotta be more to it. 
What did they do? What did they actually do? I'm gonna remember that for. I'm actually gonna write that down. Where's my pen? Okay, so I wrote the four down. Because I don't know if that's actually gonna come in handy. The lamp. Is that my dad? Talk. Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. Oh. This is your fault. Oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. Mom? Are you... Aww. And that's when I woke up. Sally Face. Hmm. Yes, it's an interesting dream. Dr. Ennen. I think we should have come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. The apartment? Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about this place right away. I've never ever had a weird feeling with things that I know of. Oh, there's episodes, I didn't know that. Episode 1, Strange Neighbors. So there's me. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? So it is really strange, like I'm a boy, but what happened to my face? That's what I'm really concerned about. I mean, the pigtails, whatever, I don't care about that, obviously, but like, it's his face. Prosthetic face. Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. Trash can? No. Let's go in the bathroom. It's very spacious. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after... After what? Can I actually pick these up? No, I can't. Okay. So I actually have nothing in my inventory, so the dream... Dude, we can't, like, actually take this stuff from our dream, I guess. Which would be pretty strange if we could. Leave? Sales room. So this is my room. Oh, I have a fox, apparently. Or a cat. It's a cat. Gizmo! I see you've made yourself at home already. Gizmo must be nice. Oh, I pushed it! I've got a gear boy! I was wondering where that was. That's funny. So can I actually use this? My gear boy looks like it needs some new batteries though. So we have to explore the apartment. How do I get into this? Oh, there we go. We gotta find some batteries. Maybe Sal or Gizmo has it. Nope. Gizmo has no batteries. Let's get out of here. Dad room. Any batteries here? Hey, Dad! Hey, kiddo. Decided to take a break from unpacking? Nope. Not really. That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think about this place? I miss Jersey. Yeah, I miss Mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as your old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. Yeah. Okay. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will try not to. Move! You got a coin! Can I push my dad? I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. 
School will start up in a couple weeks and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. Try not to get into too much trouble. Maybe I actually have to leave. I can leave? Okay. 4-1, so... No one's home. It's over here. We've got an elevator. Ooh! Hi! You scared the hell out of me. I wasn't expecting a cop. Hello? Why are you standing here? Who are you? What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run, around, run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. Grumble, grumble. Who are you? I'm your very godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Boy. He's a ray of sunshine, isn't he? Okay, so where exactly are we? We're on the fourth floor. Let's go to the fifth, I guess. The floor is being currently renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Locked. Locked. What about over here? It's locked. Ooh! Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived here. Hello? Sir? Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get to know my new neighbors and... A dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you... Sure you're okay? Ooh! What the? Okay. This is pretty creepy. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll go to the third floor. Caution, what floor? Can I push it? No, I still have my Game Boy. I need my batteries. No one's home. Hello, you! It's the janitor! Hey! Oh my! Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 4-2, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. If you ever need any help with anything, don't hesitate to, hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Ah, oh, she's nice. Okay. So thankfully we don't have to go through a whole bunch of every floor, but I do want to go through all of them just to make sure. So with the left. No one's home. Hmm, I guess no one is home. Everybody's away for work, I guess. No one's home. Yep, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. I just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. I have no words. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is there with your face? What the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was once young myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, my name is Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family. So if you mess with my collections, you mess with my family. Got it? 
Yes, sir, not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Back in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. Oh, wait, bask in my glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have a full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Oh god, he's gonna kill me. My god, child, have you never seen My Glitter Pony's Rainbow Spectacular? It is only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you can want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies, don't even get me started. Mm, yeah. Uh, I guess I missed that one. I'll look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. It's supposed to be paying homage to My Little Ponies, obviously. Okay. Can we keep going? That's it. Okay. Have I already been recording for 17 minutes? Holy crap. Let's go down to floor one. Addison. Oh dear, what a frightful... Uh, pardon me, let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartment Room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? Can I come in? Heaven to know, I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Oh god, that's creepy. Farewell, friend. No one's home. Oh, it's a detective. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. So it's probably murder. Okay. What's over here? No one's home. Ooh. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treat, isn't it? Oh, man. Err. Uh, stupid good for nothing kid. Grumble, grumble. First a cop and now that chick? He's Sally Face. Huh. Larry face. Weird. I don't understand that. I didn't even know how to walkie talkie. Come on, push that. So maybe I can talk to this person now? Let's see. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal, what's up? Ah, here we go. So, how long have you been working here? So, do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in her apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Okay, so... What was up with this, though? See you around. Like, when I press a button on the controller, it says, Larry, Sally Face. Larry, Sally, Larry face. So do I know him already? I don't understand. 1B. Oh. It's not quite what I was expecting, actually.
Whoa! What the hell was that? Some kind of demon. Bathroom. Well, Falls is in set up as uh, my place. Keep out. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Hey, right, come in, door's open. Whoa, nice mask. It's this prosthetic. Oh shit, sorry man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. What happened to his face, man? So do you like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Heh. <laughs> That's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? I like your shirt. What happened in 403? Shh. Not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. He's lying. I'm telling you, man. Seriously, I saw it happen. Are you high right now? Wish I was, man. That was some scary stuff. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanders and it was a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him bush, burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the basement door. You no, know, the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't even told anybody yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. He trusts me? What? We just met. Ah. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to the detective, but he won't but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough. Come on, really? You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Oh, jeez, really? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison T, Addison T please and thank you to him, He'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate to stuff myself, but he don't seem to love it. Okay. So, we pretty much got everything from this guy. I still need my batteries. What is this thing? That's a, a police scanner. I can listen in any local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show the detective. Something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for a break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and... I'm just messing with ya. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing it'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too 
once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or drugstore. Make it more believable. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sal. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press the shift button to call me. But I already had a walkie-talkie. See? That's weird. Sally, my man, I'm right here, you goof. Okay, I'm in my room now. Let's do this. I'm going to make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard, about a, I heard a bunch of rustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get to 403 now. Yes, let's do that. Ooh. Whoa. Examine. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Looks like anything important? Uh, it just looks like junk to me. Uh, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. The glitter ponies! There are these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it! I know how we can get him! Get out of there and come down to the basement. Oh, is it the glitter ponies? He wanted the full set. And he's nuts. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about the, telling me about it the other day as I was fixing the toilet. Anyways, I can bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offered her in the first place. I did always to give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We, need, we can't live in this building with the murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, what do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fatty! Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Heh. <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. Wait a second. I know what to do. I know what to do. Something about snacks, right? So hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's go back to my place because remember how I was talking about that coin in the beginning? That was right by her dad? Is he still there? Ah. At least he's trying now. Not drowning himself in booze, not totally giving up on life. On me. Hey, a quarter, score! I knew it! I'm so smart. So now we take this, and we have to go to the vending machine. Oh, come on! That's bullcrap! He was talking about snacks. Oh yeah, the tea! Addison tea, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. Ooh. How did, how did it fit through the slot? There you are, please enjoy. Okay, so we get the tea. Which is cool. So now maybe if we go to... Charles, or Charlie, maybe we can give him the tea. Maybe. Ooh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from... Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Ah, so tasty and relaxing. He was sucking on the on the cup, but Oh, he's sleeping. Beautiful. Ah, I must have dozed off there for a second. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping. So I was starting to like ya. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. Say, if you give me more Addison tea, I'll love some more. Mr. Addison cut me off for the day. Got more tea, wonderful. So relaxing. Uh, can I not? Oh. I've never actually interacted with anything. 
Once the door's off there for a second, I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies. Ah, damn it! Hey, come downstairs to talk when you get a chance. Alright. That was really weird. Really, really weird. Okay, well... Here we go. There he is. What? Oh yeah, great idea, I bet you put him to sleep. I did, but only for a minute. If only we can make it stronger somehow. Oh, okay, we have to use the pills. Sleeping pills. This may come in handy. Once I have something to mix it with. Okay, okay, okay. I see what we gotta do. So we actually have to... to go back and get the tea. So go get the tea. Then we go back to the thing. Okay, there we go. And all the way back up, we're gonna now get the tea. Or the. You know what I meant to say. The pills for the tea. This will knock out that bad bastard for sure. There we go. Perfect. So assuming everything goes to plan. We should be able to get that glitter pony. Alright. Here we go. As much as I love this stuff, I don't think I can drink another drop today. As surprising as that sounds. But it's fresh, nice and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. I probably had about 20 cups today. Are you positive? This is a, this is a new recipe Mr. Edison was trying out. I already had three cups and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even... Oh, I have to try it. Give it here. Okay, right, good. I'm a very good convincer. Ah, this is better than the original. I don't know how we... Got the toy. Score. Yes. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room. How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie and he was showing me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time you come to us with his info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes sir, you got it. So there we go guys, we're gonna stop this here for now. I don't know how much longer we have to go, but I think this is a good stopping point as we did get the toy and we've given it to the detective. So what do we gotta do next? I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out in the next video. So leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think of this game so far. I'm absolutely loving it an awful lot. The story is really, really interesting. And it's really interesting, especially with his face as well. We don't know how it actually happened. And we're probably going to figure that out. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, which I hope you have, please give it a thumbs up. And share it as well if you like. If you did, thanks for watching. My name is Kizzy, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.